Hello, it's me, your favorite president, Donald Trump. Did you see the debate with Crooked Joe? I crushed it. The secret to winning a debate is to tell the American people what they want to hear. It's really that easy. It doesn't even have to be true. Isn't that amazing? Not in attendance with me in Atlanta was my wife, Melania. She's been very supportive since I decided to run for president again by not showing up at any of my campaign rallies and not being there for my at any of my trials. She's with my amazingly tall son, Baron, at Mar-a-Lago. She told me, sir, Baron has a school project that he needs to work on and he needs my help. What an amazing mother she is. Baron is an amazing student. I think he's still in the eighth grade. Wasn't I commanding up on that stage? Crooked Joe couldn't compare as I spread the MAGA message. The crazed Democrats not only want abortion on demand, but get this, they want it not only up until the moment of birth, but months afterwards, we have to put a stop to it. That's not all. I heard from no sources that their new plan to steal the 2024 election is to have fictional characters vote. It's true. You know that sponge bill guy? He's going to vote 200 times and fictional characters all are woke, so they vote for Democrats. You know, I have some great friends like Mike Lindell, the MyPillow guy. He's worked hard to expose the fraud in the 2020 election by not exposing any fraud. Mark's a trooper. He's lost all of his money in trying to prove the 2020 election was rigged. Godspeed, Marvin. And I have to give a special thanks to my former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. Randy also worked tirelessly to not prove that the 2020 election was stolen, and he also lost everything. Roger says that I owe him $2 million in legal expenses, but how's a poor billionaire supposed to pay something like that back? I have my own legal bills to pay. Ralph, once I'm president, I'll give you a pardon. You have my word on it. Make sure to leave a like, a thumb, and a comment. And if you leave a bad comment, I'll send one of my Secret Service guys to have a chat with you once I'm president again. We don't like anything bad around here. Let's make America great again.